not gonna save your ass. Pew pew pew. Bow. <laughs> ah, our hand is okay. Our hand is decent. At least we have a destroyer and a card that's supposed to be destroyed, right? Oh, nice. Oh, Killmonger value. Killmonger value. Oh my god. So much values, guys. So much value. Um, I think I just play here. Okay, this is getting scary. What? What is this? This is alright. I think for a start, we need to drop this. We have no choice. I think we need to remove this if possible. And he's dropping his cards first, right? Okay, that's great. There's a feeling that he's going to run a lot of swarm. Okay, I, 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 don't, get, I don't get this deck. Oh, we'll play a card and a copy to your hand. Nice. Uh, so this is good. What we can do is you can plug this here. And then we can drop a death lock next turn. Ooh, he's trying to change it up. Okay, this is bad. We need to flood the board here, right? That's the whole point. Okay, on turn 5, we can go with Nick Fury. We can drop this here. And on turn 6, you can drop Deathlock and Brood. To fill things up if there's a need to. He wants us to go over to the right hand side, right? But I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I am not going to do that. Maybe I should have just done that because filling this board up is a lot more effort. Okay, he did. That's fine. Okay, this is compelling. This is very compelling. If you go with leader, what kind of cards are we copying over? 4 plus 5. No, we will, we will still lose. We will still lose. If you go with Brute, 7 plus 7, 14, 34, we still win, right? 7 plus 7 is 30, 14, 34, we win. But if he has Marvel, then that's a problem, isn't it? No, but we destroy. And then this buffs everything. Okay, yep. Because we destroy Nova, right? Then this buffs everything. My biggest fear is that his blue marble is going to top it off. That's fine, yeah. Oh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> rocks? A bunch of rocks? It's not going to save you, man. It's not going to save your ass. Pew pew pew! Bow! <laughs> Ooh! Amazing! I mean, we have so much choices, and we have our six cost cards. We have our Death Lock and, and Winter Soldier build, right? Wow, but Brute, man, Brute saved our ass! Brute saved our ass! <laughs> the Triskelion! Ooh, nice, we have all of our key cards here. Well, this is awkward. Um, I think the only way we can do this is we, is we drop. Eh, hey, what? Why did he discard his own cards? Okay, that's awkward. After turn three, right? Okay, what we can do is we can drop Wolverine first, and then we can hopefully use Carnage to kill it and go towards Luke's bar. I mean, Bucky Buns was the better choice, to be honest, I feel. But it's alright. 
I think we can drop Deathlock here. Oh. Oh my god. So dirty. What kind of play is that? Please go to Luke's bar. Please, please, please. Left side, left side, left side. Yes. Left side. Oh, nice. Uh, we can play this here to force him to compete on our right hand side. And then we can play Nick Fury. I mean, our Namor is definitely the highest power card there, right? I still Oh my god, this is nice. That's this is nice. Wait, add a fire power doom bot. Uh, so we have four choices, right? I think Ultron is the better choice here. We drop Ultron, and then we get four power on the left, right hand side. But we are winning here already. So if we get two power, we win, right? Oh, what about Doom Ball? Then power we win. Oh, we are, we are losing 4 power and it's not like he's going to move his card over there, right? Now this is awkward. I think Ultron is the better choice. We really have to compete on the center, right? The max he can go is what? 10? Okay, there's a chance we might lose. 1, 2, 3. We add 8. It doesn't work. Well, this is awkward, isn't it? I think we have to use Doom Bot, yeah. Yes. Oh my god. 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 Oh, thank god. We won. I didn't know he was going to play play this 411 hell cow jesus so scary man because my, my fear was that he was going to drop like a apocalypse right so apocalypse gets double okoye buff which is 10 and if he drops 10 right i need to have like i need to drop ultron to compete right but with ultron right we summon three drones which is one power each which is eight power in total with nemo can't compete with enchantress man and i think the best move forward was just dr doom because at least Doctor Doom, you can guarantee a win here. But in the end, we still didn't win. He dropped some hell cow. Okay, I couldn't even conceive this. Because we are moving into uncharted territories. I haven't played against these cards before. <laughs> oh my god, this is bad. This is bad. Cards here have 5 power. Okay, what do we do here? I wish I had the Nova. Then you can have played on this lane, right? Uh, I think for a start, we drop this here. Wait, he's not playing anything. This is very scary. Uh, this is so concerning. Okay. I think this is alright for now. I mean, we draw some... Okay, we didn't really draw very good cards here. Unfortunately. Two of our destroyers, we didn't draw it. But it's fine. I mean, it thins our deck, right? So that means that we are going to probably... Wait, did he just discard his hawk? Jesus. Um, Just drop this. And then feed our carnage. Nice. Then we will destroy. We, and we can drop our Saber 2 back. Yeah, that's alright. Cool. Oh, he drew the highest power card. He drew Nick Fury, I guess. Um, for a start, we can compete here. And compete our Saber Tooth here. Hmm. 
No, this is gonna be awkward, right? We have one power less. Should we go with Nick Fury? Or what kind of cards do we get with Nick Fury? That's the question. Uh, probably should just go with Nick Fury. Okay, if we... Okay, I realize there's no point putting Nick Fury because we don't have enough space for... We don't have enough hand space, right, to drop our cards, right? Oh, nice. Perfect. <laughs> that was a good choice. He took a gamble, man. He took a gamble, trying to lock down the lane. Too bad. We have Nemo. But this is a very sick Professor X. Usually, I think previously when the first when the game first like released, I saw a lot of Japanese players and Koreans, but now not so much though. We just need Carnage or Deathlock. Oh, nice! This is perfect for us. Uh, cards that cost four or five can be played here. That's alright. Yeah, we can just drop our our Nemo on on the center row. To force him to compete with us. This is not too bad. Sinister London. I think we need to prep for Nemo, right? Uh, let's just drop this here. My biggest fear is that if I drop Nemo on Sinister London, it will appear on Big House. <laughs> then we are just dead, right? Right in an awkward position here. I feel that we need to play reactively. We really have to play reactively. I'm not gonna play anything here first. Oh. Uh. It's one power shot. Oh my god, and it got double combo. Oh, that sucks. Okay. I'm okay with this here. Let's just drop this then. He kind of locked himself in, right? But he managed to get the Jubilee Odin combo. We just pray that it gets to Space Throne. Yeah, he's gone. He's gone. That's fine. You can just drop this here. Smash him. <laughs> Shang-Chi, the power of Shang-Chi. Wait, do we have enough? No man, we do not have enough. Uh if we destroy this too. No man, we do not have enough. Fuck. Wait a minute. I just need to drop this, right? 5 3. Yup, I have enough, enough, enough. I have enough. I just need to play at the correct spot. Ah, uh, what a dumb move for a moment. <laughs> yup. Because whatever I summon over there, I will guarantee to win. I'm guaranteed to win. For a moment, I have a brain, brain fart. <laughs> I was thinking, oh, I need to play at Space Throne to win. But Sinister London will play it for me. <laughs> Shang-Chi, man. Shang-Chi is such a good card. Such a good tech card, right? It will surprise your opponent. I mean, especially if you're new joining Pool 3, having tech cards will really help you a lot. You don't really need meta decks for now. I mean, you don't really have meta cards, right? So you have to make do with your tech cards. I think that's why they provide all these tech cards early on in the game, like Pool 2 and Pool 1, Enchantress, Cosmo, Shang-Chi, to really help you mitigate the power difference here. I mean, at the end of the day, it's not really about win rate, right? You just need to surprise your opponent. And in this case, he snapped. He's confident I snap back and I can surprise him. Yeah, so it's all about cube wins, not about win rate. I mean, even though maybe my deck would kind of lose him in the long run but this surprises this surprise factor really matters a lot yeah uh if you only have one card here if, oh nice this is for us isn't it atlantis 
Uh, let's just end here. Oh, we have our name all. Nice. We in the newest Black Panther movie, it's not Atlantis, right? It's something else. It's Talokan? Yeah. Uh guess we drop Killmonger here. No, I think I, I want to wait. Wait, turn three, turn two, turn three. Next turn, turn three. Um, yeah, we don't have a turn three play, right? Let's just drop Mr. Sinister. I'm all right with it because I'm okay. Perfect. I was waiting for this because I was, I was apprehensive, right? Whether is this gonna be the one only one cost card he's gonna drop? And he can't play any cards here anymore, so that's good. Um. Okay. So I don't have a turn 4 play anymore, right? Yeah, I think we can just go with this. Oh, he's playing a zoo control lockdown or whatever it is. It's just a zoo deck, I think. Yeah. It's like a zoo that has like protection. And then... Nice, nice. He I probably should have just snapped first. I think that was a mistake of mine. At least we have we could have gotten two cubes. I think you can do this here. I mean this benefits us, right? This push this to 15. That's the whole point. And if it gets beyond 9, we can just use Shang-Chi, but I don't think that's something that will happen. Yeah, I th we, we snap a, a little too late, but that's fine. That's fine. I'm just enjoying the game. I don't really care about the cubes. If I mean, I feel that if I get too co too caught up with the cubes, right, I would, I will become just way too anxious here. Yeah, I will just overthink and I will just hate playing the game. What? Oh, nice. Oh, this is amazing. We have our 12 power Nemo. Let's drop our Bucky Buns on the center. Is this on review? It's not, right? Okay, this is on review. So this is slightly awkward. I think we put this here. This is not on review. Okay, this is ongoing. Maybe we can drop Deathlock on nowhere. Let's just see how this goes. Oh, nice. Wait, why would he be playing Blade in a... What is this deck? Strange. Oh, perfect. Hey, Now this is kind of awkward, isn't it? Turn 4, turn 5. Okay. I think this is the right move. Let's just focus here. Then we use Namor on the center. Or the left hand side. No, center will be the good point. We, we want to force him to play more cards to contest center, right? Or maybe the left hand side. Yeah, let's just see how this goes. Awesome. Oh, I guess he has Shang-Chi. That's why he's so readily. I mean, he just snaps, right? The question here is gonna put two more cards. One, two. That's four power, four, three, seven. Okay, this is gonna be harder for him if we put uh at Wak Wakandan Embassy. We'll see how this goes. Oh, good for him, good for him. Uh Oh, nice. <laughs> uh, on review doesn't work here, right? Should we just compete? This has three power. You go with death lock here. Deathlock and Killmonger. 
Nick, if you go to Nick Fury, what kind of six cost cut are we looking at? There's nothing, right? At the end of the day, we still have America Chavez. So I'm cool with that. And we can always keep our... Yeah. Okay, I don't have enough, so I'll just go to Killmonger to destroy everything first. Yep. To turn the tides in our favor. Nice, that's why you don't play one cost cards in pool 3 or even pool 2. And then, um, he played a card just now, right? So he, ca he can't play Infinite. So I'll just drop this here then. No, he can still win this, so this is slightly awkward. I'll just drop this here. And then we can contest here. But that's assuming if we win, right? 7. Okay, I think the best way is this. Because the, the problem here is that right, if you drop something very big and it beats our biggest creature here, how big can it be, right? That's the question. Then we lose, us tr then we lose 3. Right now we are 7 against 7, right? If Daymor goes down to 7, then we are adding 9. But he's not going to compete here. That's the question. He's going to compete here. No, he's going to compete on the left hand side, so we have to do that, yeah. Okay, I have no idea what he's playing, to be honest. Maybe he's just trying to surprise us, right? Oh, nice. We have our Nova Killmonger combo here. Hey. Let's drop this here. Then maybe we can use Deathlock to unlock everything. Create. Return it to your hand. Okay, that's fine. Whoever is winning here gets plus 3 location. Uh. Let me drop this here. Oh, this is bad. This is not good. Um, the question here is how do we run this? I feel that we should flood the board before we... Yeah, I think we should flood the board with Stable Tooth and Wolverine, then we can go with Deathlock to destroy Nova. I'm not going to carnage our our wolf brothers here. Oh, he locked us in. Well, that's kind of awkward. Uh, but that's fine. That's that's all right. I'm I'm cool with that. We can drop Deathlock here without any fear now, right? Okay, so once this gets teleported away, we can drop Namor. I think for a start, we can just try and compete at the center. The scary part is that Baxter building, whoever is winning this, right, gets plus 3. So I'm not really a fan of that. Okay, cool. It goes all to the left hand side. Hey, this is not good, man. This is not good at all. Remember, he's winning this, right? He needs to drop 6 power. And this is not good for us. 257. Yeah. I mean, we have to win this, right? The chances of us winning is quite low, though. We just need to put 6 points of power. 8 points of power. To be exact. But he needs to play a card. Or we can just drop a 9. And we win, right? Yeah. I think we have to compete here. There's no choice.
we can win by difference because oh no we can't win by difference because the Baxter building will give him 3 right oh, I think that's a bad move which I just went to the right hand side but if we went to the right hand side right he just needs to drop like a 10 cost card or something right 9, 3, 6 6 plus 2, 8 he just needs to drop 8 or higher which is any 6 cost card isn't it Oh. oh my god, what just happened man? What just happened? We won. Victory. I thought he was gonna drop one card. I overthink a, a, a little there. And moving vision. Hmm. I don't think that was the right choice though. He should have just compete on Baxter building, right? Or he just leave it and he just focus on that ne crochet. I mean if you drop Spider Woman and you drop Iron Fist, you won already, right? Yeah, you won, man. Come on, you see. Wait, wait, wait. No, he doesn't. Because he doesn't have enough power. If he adds Iron Fist, right, he gets minus 4 power. He actually just needed one powerful 6 cost card to win. I guess he didn't have it. 